Right, 1950 Mercury. Um, petrol tank was knackered. This is the petrol tank out of a 1954 Mercury. No, it's not a Mercury. What is it? Pontiac. Pontiac. Yeah. yeah. That's a Mercury. <laughs> Uh, so this is out of a 1954 Canadian one. So Phil and Eck was in a different place, so we had to change this over. So that's the Phil and Eck off the original tank. Send the unit didn't work. Bought one from Jeep Parts. Total piece of shit didn't work. So I managed to reclaim the old one. So I had to undo the rivets, take all this apart inside, clean it all, free up that. So it floats properly. Uh, there's a strip of brass inside that was broken, so I had to solder that back up. And I had to bolt this back together because I haven't got any rivets that small. But now we've got to put this in here so it works as the sender unit. But where I'll put those nuts on there, it just doesn't seal, seal down, you see? So I've just got to dremel that and that out to take that. Okay, so when that will go down nicely then, then I've got to mark that and drill and tap that. This in theory should be round that way, but you can't fit it that way because of the angle of it. The angle of where this comes out. Um, that had the original fuel pickup was on here, went into the bottom of the tank and out there. But this one's got the fuel pickup there. So I soldered that up so that won't leak petrol fumes back out. So the first thing to do is just dremel that. And so I can get that, that will drop in there properly then. Hopefully there's no leaks in that then, look. <laughs> right, that drops in there nicely now. So now we can mark that where we want to put our holes. Just drill one, drill and tap it in case that inner ring falls off. One bolt in there. Because what it is, that inner ring, yeah? So you can see there's two lip, two rings? That's your tank skin. And you've got an inner ring there. There's a strengthener. Mm -hmm. Now where we're drilling different holes in it, they're spot welded together. There's a chance you could run a drill straight through all the spot welds and that disc will just fall inside. Yeah. So uh, just put one bolt in it to hold it. And then you won't lose it inside the tank if it does come off. So now I know I'm not going to lose that, I can go around and pilot all the rest of the holes now, yeah? Tap the rest of the holes. Good stuff, that. What's that? Just like a cutting compound, so anything you... Yeah, look. Ease the cutting and drilling of metals, plastics by hand. It just makes everything work a lot easier, you know. You can put these in a cordless drill and do it, but it's uh, with a small tap like that, best not to, because you can snap them, you know. Need it more control manually. Yeah.
not too much rubbish gone in there, so that's good. Ceiling warp rubber. Disc's not going to fall off. Get a little bit of sealer. What's that stuff? This stuff is actually weather strip adhesive, 3M. But it's just, it says it's a gasket sealer as well. It is seriously good stuff. So let's put a little bit around there. Work out which way our gasket goes. Because all these holes aren't unison, aren't uniform, so you have to get it in the right place. So that's our bottom hole. That's our top two. The most important part on there, I suppose, is getting a seal on it. A seal, and you've got to make sure that the tank is earthed, otherwise it physically can't make contact. If you've got power going in, you have a winding in there, it's called a rear stat, and as it moves, it gives you less or more resistance, Yeah. and that's what lets the gauge go up and down. Oh, okay. So this has to be earthed. Is that a separate... Uh, wire from that to the earth uh, for the to the depends sometimes they'll just pick up off the straps that holds it in okay other times you have to put a wire on them now you've said that i'll put a wire on it good thinking batman <laughs> my work here is done yes your work here is done right put a wire on there Stuart. any particular wire you're using no just as long as it's an earth wire i can put another hole underneath somewhere just to pick up on that. Right. That'll do us I think. Spanners, get that strapped up. Right, that's the fiddly bit. We've got to get up here to do the wire up on the center unit so there's no hole in the floor to do it. Awkward, awkward, awkward. Seriously full up. It's gone up a bit. Just like to have seen it gone up a little bit more than that, wouldn't it? Really? Yeah, that's it, right? Should get it up in the air. Because one of them, that's probably twice the bottom area. It probably is only laying about an inch and a half in the bottom. Yeah. So we'll keep filling it and see what happens. I mean, that's fine as long as it registers, you know, and once he's, he's on empty, he'll, if he fills it when he's on empty, he'll never run out of petrol, you know. You're that hard, isn't you? Well hard.
<laughs> Just over a quarter of a tank. Right, that's half a tank. Whoop, whoop. So let's see if it will start after sitting for so long. No, came the cry. We've got oil pressure. Exhaust is blowing. So, okay. Okay, that's good.